Two local artists have taken tagging beyond the streets in pursuit of a career. Jonah Schmeling and Monty Esposito are commissioned graffiti artists that say it's just another art form. Graffiti and spray paint, is, I think spray paint is just another tool, like a paintbrush. Uh, it just has a different, it just has a different look when you paint something. And I think people shouldn't make such a big deal, but I, obviously I get, I get it that, that people don't vandalize with, with uh, paint brushes and stuff like that. I just wanted to start living up my gym room. It was a really, really horrible blue color. So I painted it and I just didn't like really the colors I had in there. So I knew that he'd come in here and he'd liven it up with, you know, his own, his own interpretation of art. The more legal space that you give kids, the less graffiti you're going to see on buildings. If I have a place that I can go and spend time and work on a piece, rather than be rushed and focus on the transformation of my art as an artist, I'm going to pick that over anything else every time. This may look like an abandoned warehouse illegally tagged by vandals, but it's actually all legal. Ugh. So I can actually take this and do this risk-free. JSC Associates own a warehouse located on Tully Street that gives artists free range to legally paint murals there. I don't want to paint everything for money. The thing that I love about graffiti art is, graffiti art, when you see it in the streets, it's for real, it's not for sale. These kids are painting this art, and a lot of these kids are professional artists, but they're going out there and they're putting up their art for free. It's like, it's so real and so pure. But I can't see myself, you know, going every day to a job that I'm miserable, that I don't like, and I've done it. Jonas says commissioned work doesn't come so easily. Uh... He works part-time as a line chef in a local restaurant in order to pay for his bills and necessities. Cooking is kind of like, that's, that's how I make like my paychecks. But without having another source of income, it'd be rough. Like, it'd be really, really hard. Um, I'd be super broke all the time. Sass wanted to be the king of graffiti, but he realized there was no point if he couldn't put food on the table. If tattooing was a pizza, I can't get a big enough slice of that pizza and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm hungry for more. And uh, I don't want to focus on one thing. I want to be doing other things. I don't want to be sitting in a tattoo studio on a Saturday when it's gorgeous out and my, and my tattoo stiffs me for the day, doesn't call, doesn't show nothing. And when I could be out painting graffiti, I just can't do that to myself. So I try to hustle these murals as much as I can. And every night I, I think about what I got to do in the morning when I get up. You know, what paintings I'm working on or what projects I'm working on. And uh, I saw this one quote uh, from this famous artist and he said, I go to bed and dream about what I'm going to paint when I wake up. And then when I wake up, I just paint what I dream. And, and so, like, think about what that life is. You know what I mean? MMM News, this is Boon Om Chen Puang.